Have you ever wondered how oil barrels are made? Let's find out in this video. It all starts at massive steel mills, where sheets of high-strength metal are transformed into iconic 55-gallon drum. But how do factories shape, seal, and reinforce these barrels to store billions of gallons of oil worldwide? Let's dive in. Before the steel barrels we see today, oil was transported in wooden casks, similar to whiskey barrels. These wooden barrels, originally designed for wine and spirits, were repurposed by the oil industry in the 19th century. However, they had serious drawbacks. They were expensive, prone to leakage, and couldn't withstand rough transportation. By the early 20th century, steel became the preferred material offering superior durability, standardization, and reusability. The now famous 55-gallon drum was developed, and its design has remained largely unchanged for over a century. Today, steel barrels are not only used for oil, but are also chemicals, food-grade liquids, and industrial materials. The process begins at a steel mill where high-grade, low-carbon steel is produced. This type of steel is chosen for its flexibility and strength, strong enough to hold pressurized liquids, yet flexible enough to be shaped without cracking. The steel arrives at the barrel manufacturing plant in giant rolls called coils, which can weigh several tons. These coils are unrolled and cut into sheets of precise dimensions. But before they can be shaped, the sheets go through a critical cleaning process. Using chemical baths or shot blasting, any surface contaminants such as oil, grease, or oxidation are removed. This ensures that welding and painting processes adhere perfectly later in production. Once clean, the steel sheets are cut into rectangular blanks. These blanks will form the cylindrical body of the barrel. They're fed into a massive rolling machine, which gradually bends them into a perfect cylindrical shape. But at this point, the edges are still open. To form a completely sealed structure, the two edges are brought together and joined using a process called high-frequency electric resistance welding. This method generates intense heat using electrical current, fusing the steel together almost instantly. The result? A seamless, leak-proof cylinder that serves as the foundation of the barrel. While the body of the barrel is being shaped, Another process is underway to create the two end pieces. Large steel sheets are fed into a stamping press, which punches out circular discs with extreme precision. To ensure a secure fit with the barrel body, the edges of these discs are flanged, meaning they are bent slightly upward. This step is crucial because it allows the ends to be crimped onto the barrel body later on. Some barrels also receive reinforcement rings, which are concentric ridges pressed into the end caps. These ridges add strength, preventing the lids from deforming under pressure or impact. If you've ever looked closely at a steel barrel, you've probably noticed the raised ridges along its sides. These are called beads, and they serve an important purpose, reinforcing the barrel's structural integrity. The body of the barrel passes through a beading machine, which presses these ridges into the steel. This process helps prevent the barrel from collapsing under external pressure or denting during transport. Additionally, the top and bottom edges of the barrel are reinforced with a thicker ring of steel known as the chime. The chime not only strengthens the barrel, but also makes it easier to roll and stack. 
To prevent corrosion and extend barrel's lifespan, protective coatings are applied. The type of coating depends on the barrel's intended use. For oil storage, the exterior is often painted with industrial-grade enamel paint, which provides a moisture-resistant barrier. Some barrels are hot-dip galvanized, where they are submerged in molten zinc to create a corrosion-resistant layer. Inside, some barrels receive specialized linings. For example, barrels used for food or pharmaceuticals may have an epoxy or phenolic coating to prevent chemical reactions with the contents. The coated barrels are then cured in high-temperature ovens, ensuring the finish is strong and durable. Now that all the components are ready, it's time for assembly. The top and bottom lids are placed onto the barrel body, aligning with the flanged edges. These pieces are sealed using a technique called double seaming. Double seaming is a high-pressure crimping process that tightly folds the steel edges together in multiple layers, creating an airtight and leak-proof bond. In some cases, a rubber or epoxy gasket is inserted into the seam for extra sealing protection. Before any barrel leaves the factory, it undergoes rigorous testing to ensure it meets industry standards. First, the barrel is pressurized with air and submerged in water. If bubbles appear, there's a leak, and the barrel is rejected. Next, barrels are stacked and subjected to weight tests to verify their strength under compression. Some are even dropped from specific heights to ensure they won't rupture during transport. Once approved, the barrels are labeled, stacked, and prepared for shipping. Some will store crude oil, while others will be repurposed into barbecue grills or furniture. The 55-gallon steel drum is one of the most versatile containers ever invented. So next time you see an oil barrel, you'll know the incredible engineering behind it. Which manufacturing process did you find the most fascinating? Let us know in the comments below.